Hey, good morning and welcome to Royer's Corner. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, I know you're not used to seeing me this early in the morning, so welcome back. Please remember to hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed and hit that notification bell on all. That way you see each and every time I post a video with you in mind, hit that like button and comment your thoughts and opinions down below so we can keep the conversation going. What is this morning's conversation about? Well, over here in Royer's Corner, we're talking about Tiana Taylor now. What if you signed a deal of your life at the age of 15 and the individual you signed the deal with, you know, you thought that they would protect you and cover you and make sure your best interest would be had at all times, right? Well, that really wasn't the case with Tiana and Pharrell when she signed with his record label at the age of 15. Now, Tiana opened up on Angie Martinez's podcast. A so shout out to Angie Martinez. I did listen to the podcast. Just click the link down below in the description box to check that out. Really good interview. Really just talked about faith, family, you know, career, relationship, all of that good stuff, okay? But in the midst of that, she opened up about working with Pharrell, you know, from the age of 15 and signing with him and how she felt that he did not protect him. Uh, protect her the way she felt she needed to be protected. So shout out to hotnewhiphop.com for this interview. Uh, Tiana reflects on signing with Pharrell at 15, okay? So Tiana Taylor recently reflected on her experience from signing with Pharrell Williams at the age of 15 years old doing an interview with Angie Martinez. She linked uh, she inked a deal with legendary producer Star Trek Entertainment imprint in 2000. Taylor explained that without her father in her life, Pharrell began to fill that role. So let me just break that down real quick. You know, and 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 you know, Tiana told us in that interview with Angie Martinez that her dad biologically um, was locked up in jail during most of her childhood. I believe he got out when she was 13 or 14. Um, the gentleman that she looked to as a father figure was a uh, pow pow um, you know, unexpectedly. And so she lost that father figure. And so Tiana, you know, 14, 15, 16, you're looking for a man to look up to, to guide you, protect you as your mom as well. And so Tiana was looking for that out of Pharrell. And so here she goes on to say, no matter how I felt when I was younger, like none of these doors would have ever opened if it wasn't for P. With him, it's why I hold him to such a high pedestal because I didn't have a dad, you know what I'm saying, and he enjoyed me bragging about him, you know, like calling him dad because it was something that he wanted, Taylor explained. So Pharrell always wanted to be a dad, always wanted to be that father figure, and so she kind of broke down here in this uh shade room post and I'm going to play this and then I'll give my final thoughts and opinions. No matter how I felt when I was younger, like none of these doors would have ever opened if it wasn't for, for P. With him is why I hold him on such a high pedestal because I didn't, I didn't have a dad, you know what I'm saying? And um, he enjoyed me bragging about him like you know, calling him dad because it probably hurt maybe him. something that he wanted. You know what I'm saying? He wanted he wanted kids at the time really bad, and maybe he was in whatever space he was in, but it was clearly the most. You know, and so just what I read, and so here's the other part. Emotional space for the both of us, and because also knowing him as well as I know him, it wasn't the thing that you did on purpose. You didn't purposely not protect me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It might have been a thing where like you like you, you know he's so gentle you know, and just kind of just like let everybody push him out the way. And I guess for me, that 15 year old, that girl just needed you to fight a little harder. You know what I'm saying? Needed mm -hmm. you to maybe push, even if you didn't have the strength to, I just needed you to push for me more, you know? And so, you know, as Tiana kind of reflected just on working with him in the past and things like that, it just really helped her open up her eyes to understanding where she is today in her career. And she breaks all of that down in the interview. So go check that out. She was also over on Martinez's show to just discuss her newest film, A Thousand and One, which premiered in NYC. 
They also spoke about her relationship with God and with Kanye West and more. And so we're speaking on her other relationships. She talked about also her beautiful family, her two baby girls and her husband, Iman Shumford. And they are just a beautiful family. I love, love, love them to death. I watched their little reality show on E! while it was on. It was really, really good, y'all. So shout out to Tiana Taylor. Shout out to the growth. She did say that her and... um. Uh, Pharrell did have a deep conversation about this, um, you know, because she was feeling some type of way. She was in her feelings and she wanted to move past that. You know, I can't imagine, you know, being 15 in the industry. You know, this industry is hardcore, like even these YouTube streets, you know, being a YouTube content creator, it, it is not what I expected. You know, I did not expect for mess and mayhem. I don't know why, but I just didn't expect it. But, you know, at the 15, 15, and you're expecting a grown individual to really protect you and look out for you, especially someone who says that they want, you know, that, you know, to be that lead figure. I, I don't want to say father figure, but, you know, to be that lead figure in their life, to guide and protect them, to make sure that others are, you know, not coming after them and trying to harm them. And, you know, she just really broke down how going through so much in her career in early years helped her understand and develop an appreciation for today. You know, even though she feels like sometimes the people don't respect her, you know, as far as, you know, her artistry and her music, she still continues to press forward and to continue to do what she feels that she's been called to do. She And one thing I really loved about this interview is that she really spoke on her faith and family and how she really leans on her faith and family to really continue to push her and propel her into what she sees next. So y'all go check out Tiana's new movie, A Thousand and One. Um, I'm going to check it out. My, my best friend checked it out. She said it was really good. She enjoyed Tiana's acting. And so I'm going to go check it out too, y'all. So we got to support our girl, Tiana Taylor. Check out her music. She has got awesome, amazing music. So don't be sleeping on our girl, you know. And she has a repertoire of other movies that she has played in. She's She's a singer. She's a dancer. She's a writer. She's an artist. She's an all around just renaissance girl, in my opinion. She's really, really good. So I love that her and Pharrell were able to have that conversation to push past whatever, you know, small little issues that she felt it was holding on, you know, and it's good that you can go and have those conversations with people in your past because sometimes we don't realize that it was the past situations that are holding us up for pressing forward into our future. And we have to deal with the past. We really have to deal with the past in order to get to where we're supposed to be in the present, okay? So shout out to Tiana Taylor. Thank you to Pharrell for honoring and respecting, you know, where Tiana came from. Because from what I gathered from that interview, it looked like that they came to a mutual understanding and a mutual agreement and a mutual respect from one another, okay? So shout out to them. I hope that they can continue to give Tiana her flowers, you know, respect our girls. To me, she's one of those other, uh, uh, one of those other underrated artists, you know, that do not get the attention and the love and the support that I think they deserve. So shout out to you, Tiana. You, you get it from me, girl. And know that, you know, no matter what, you are out here doing your thing. You got some beautiful children and I see your light. I see your peace. I see your joy that you're shining. So shout out to you, baby girl. Thank y'all for joining me today in Royer's Corner. Did y'all like this video? Please hit that like button. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. How would you feel if you had the opportunity to sign, you know, a major deal at 15 years old and the individual that you signed with did not protect you the way that you felt that they promised they would? You know, they were just kind of pushovers and let other people run, you know, the show you know, and, and it didn't work out in your favor. Can you forgive them? Could you have that conversation? Y'all leave it down in the comments section below and we'll continue the conversation. Thank you for joining me in Royer's Corner today and y'all have a great Monday morning and I'll see y'all later on.
Bye.